with y'all like you a home baker you a youtuber you said you was a substitute teacher you a notary yes yes we lie sweet life sweet life today we're going to be doing a day in the life of a home baker and so i'm gonna let you guys see basically how a typical day goes for me running my bakery from home i did one of these videos i think i did a few videos a few of these videos before but i want to get more consistent with them trying to give you guys like once so one of these videos a week so today I have to run some errands. I have to go to Hobby Lobby and get um, some supplies for an order. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me on that. I also, I did all my baking yesterday. So I have two cakes this week. I have a monogram cupcake box. I have chocolate covered pretzels. I have sugar cookies. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's all I have for this week. So. Today, yesterday I did all my baking, and so I freeze my cakes, I wrap them up in saran wrap, and I freeze them after that. And then today, I'm gonna let you guys see me crumb coat the two cakes. Well, one is a two tier, and then one is a one tier. So I'll let you see me crumb coat the three of those. And then I'm also gonna bake the cookies for the cookie order today. Um, so I'll let you guys see me roll those out and bake those. Like I said, we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby, and then also, I have some um, stuff to do. I have some invoices and stuff that I need to send out. I have some order requests that I need to respond um, from my website. And then I also, something else I need to do today. Oh, I have cupcake toppers to make. So we're going to try to get through all of that <laughs> in today's video. So first we're going to go to Hobby Lobby and we're going to get those um, supplies. I try to get that out of the, the way first. I try to get my errands out of the way and then I come home and do what I need to do like around the house or whatever just to kind of get it out of the way. And as you guys see, I made my coffee. So I won't be tempted to go through a Starbucks or a Dunkin Donuts drive through <laughs> on my way out running my errands. Side note, do you guys feel like in the mornings when you're like out and about, you're on your way to work or you're out running errands, do you feel like you need to like go to Starbucks or go to Dunkin Donuts? Like, I don't know if it's because I worked in corporate America for so long, like 20 years I worked in corporate America. And it's just such a thing to get coffee every morning, to stop at Dunkin' Donuts, to stop at Starbucks. And so I'm now programmed. When I'm home all day, a lot of times I don't even drink coffee. Like I'll make breakfast later in the morning. And since I'm like doing keto and stuff, you guys see I made my sugar-free coffee. But now when I go, when I do go like to work, you know, I'm a substitute teacher. I don't know if I, I ever told you guys that. But I'm a substitute teacher as well. So on the days that I'm like substituting or the days that I'm out running errands, then I feel like I got to have coffee. Like, I don't know if it's just programmed in my brain from working in the office so long. But yeah, so now instead of spending that seven, no. By the time I go to Starbucks and I get coffee, then you got to get a little muffin or a little sandwich or something. It's like $12. So... <laughs> I'm now making my coffee at home and then I make it right before I'm ready to leave. So then I'm not tempted to go through nobody drive through. So, like I said, just wanna make sure we don't have nothing else going on today. This is my planner. I don't know if I showed you guys my planner. I still like to use a paper planner. Like I use my Google calendar 
um, a little bit, but I'm such a paper person. Like I'm such a paper calendar and I like take my calendar with me everywhere. And I write like all my, like I write everything down. And this is this week, like I have my to-do list for the grocery store. Yesterday I went to the cake supply store. So I got all of my boxes and cake boards and stuff for the week. And then I had like my baking list, like um for yesterday. And like I said, today we're going to Hobby Lobby and we're gonna do like some prep work basically today. So yeah, I think that's enough <laughs> for today's video. So let's go. <laughs> Okay, guys, I had to make a quick pit stop. I was on my way to Hobby Lobby, and I was passing Dollar Tree, and I remember, remember I told you I have to make chocolate-covered pretzels? I don't have any pretzels. And so I told you I went to the grocery store yesterday, but the the pretzel rods are like $4 at like the grocery store and... um like walmart and stuff so i always get my pretzel rods from dollar tree because even with the price increase at like a dollar 25 it's still cheaper because most of the time when i get the pretzel rods um i only need 12 most of the time it's an add-on i only offer that type of stuff as add-ons anyway like you can't just call me and say i want 12 pretzels no ma'am so um this particular customer she always gets the same package every event no matter what event it is um she gets a cupcake monogram and then she gets sugar cookies and then she adds on the pretzels so i always let her you know add on the pretzels so it's just 12 pretzels so i'm gonna go to dollar tree also, I have a unicorn cake. One of the cakes is a unicorn cake. And I think I kind of want to put like a gold ribbon trim at the bottom. And I'm all out of gold ribbon. So I'm going to get um, gold ribbon out of Dollar Tree. That's, that's all we're going to get out of Dollar Tree. Hold me accountable. <laughs> we're going to get pretzel rods. And we're going to get gold ribbon. Okay. That's it. That's it. Don't pick up nothing else. Okay. Wait. So I don't know if I told, I, well, I haven't told you guys, but I'm actually going to be um, making and selling Easter baskets this year. So of course I need to go browse the Easter section to see if I could find some like fillers for the basket. I don't want my, my baskets to be completely um, Dollar Tree stuff. Um, I'm going to do some like customized things um, with my Cricut and, you know, customized treats and stuff. And then, you know, you need little fillers. So I'm going to get some fillers. But there's also a Michaels over here. So I might check out Michaels as well. So this turned into a whole from just running to Hobby Lobby to now we're going to Dollar Tree and Michaels as well. This This is how my days usually go. Like, they're so unpredictable. But yes, yeah, so we're going to get the pretzels. We're gonna get gold ribbon if they have it. Um, if they don't have it, Michaels has it. See, look, look what we did there. But anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna take you guys into Dollar Tree and then we're just gonna run in Michaels quickly, quickly. And then we'll head over to Hobby Lobby. We have tons of eggs. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love these. My son would love these. I also, I don't know about the clear ones. Because then you can see exactly what's in them. And that takes the fun away. But I like these metallic ones. I like these too. Oh, look at these. Oh, they are so cute. So stinking cute. I have to get some of these eggs. Do you guys decorate your house for Easter? I never have, but this stuff is cute. Oh, 
lot of this bling ribbon. But that's not what I'm looking for. I want just regular gold ribbon. So I'm probably gonna have to get that from Michaels. Yeah, they don't have any plain gold ribbon. That's why whenever I see it in here, I buy all of it because I can never find it after that. I have never not found pretzel rods in Dollar Tree. Look, they're usually at the bottom and it's all empty. Are you kidding me? So they don't have the gold ribbon or the pretzel rods? The only pretzels I see are these and those. This is crazy. I'm gonna have to go either to another Dollar Tree or back to Publix to get those $4 pretzels. This was a waste of a trip. It's sidewalk chalk. That's super cute. Wow, Michael's grass is so much cuter. Oh, this is cute. These giant eggs. 40% off all their baskets. All this stuff is so cute. Easter stuff is so cute. And the sad part is... They've made it all about bunnies and eggs and nothing about the original true meaning of Easter, but you have to admit, this stuff is super cute. Ribbon. Like just plain gold ribbon like this. I really want the bigger one like this. Okay. As you can see, that was an epic fail. Dollar Tree had no pretzels. None. Never in the 10 years of me baking and doing pretzel rods have they not had pretzels like not even one bag usually they'll have some left over and they're like broken but if you get two bags you can get like six and six out of each bag but i mean whole shelf empty you guys saw it and then they didn't have a gold ribbon which wasn't really shocking they have the gold bling ribbon but that um i have a bunch of that gold ribbon at home that bling ribbon and that's not the look that I was going for. Um, I wanted just plain gold ribbon for like a softer, cause it's like a pastel, you know, unicorn soft cake. And so that bling ribbon would be too like, you know. So anyway, got the ribbon. I am proud of myself that I only got what we went in there for, which is the gold ribbon. But do you know how much this ribbon was? It was five dollars. Five American dollars. I'm used to this ribbon being like $2.99 the most. And then I had a 20% off coupon, so it was like four dollars and some change, but five dollars, y'all. The prices of everything is like through the roof. Like I can't even I can't even explain how prices have not like went up just a little bit. They have like skyrocketed, like doubled and tripled on some items. So with that being said, don't be afraid to go up on your prices because baby. So anyway, on to Hoppy Loppy we go because this man is sitting here staring at me because I guess he wants me to move out of this parking spot <laughs> while I'm sitting here talking to y'all. So anyway. To Hobby Lobby we go. So I 
like to get these from Hobby Lobby, 129. It's like a wooden number and they have letters. But I just glue a skewer on the back and turn it into a cake topper. 129, done. And then they have 90% off the day planner. But they're from last year and this year. But you know what always gets me? The jewelry making stuff. Like look. Look at those earrings. And what is that? Like a keychain? It's like a teepee. Every time I see this stuff, I'm like, oh, I could just buy hooks and make it into my own jewelry. Uh, I'm so tempted. But I'm not gonna do it, girl. I'm not gonna do it. But look at these. So I said you turn them into cake toppers. These are letters. It's probably, oh, see so the number three in there. A gold number three. And these are 20 cents. And so it usually works better with numbers than letters because they're kind of big to be trying to spell out a word. But you got the N. got a two and a three for 20 cents so I'm actually gonna get these I'm gonna see if there's any more numbers and I'm gonna get them 20 cents for a cake topper you cannot pass that up look at that pink that could be a six or a nine we're gonna get that and the rest of them are letters and and but we are going to get this this could be a six or a nine for 20 cent a two and a three are we getting those so now for we actually came to hobby lobby for you guys always ask me where do you get the letters where do you get the numbers hobby lobby child be lobby. These are the paper mache letters, the 16 inch, and this is what I make my cupcake monograms, and then they fit perfectly into a half sheet cake box. Those are the letters. Those are the numbers. And they have the smaller ones. You could put mini cupcakes or like strawberries into the smaller ones. And they have the really small ones. But you can absolutely put mini cupcakes and strawberries into the smaller ones. And I am out of regular glue sticks. So I'm just going to get some regular clear glue sticks. And that's it. We out of here. Look at these earrings. They really have cute earrings. I've gotten earrings out of here. A few times look how cute they are and they're not that expensive $7.99 $6.99 really cute look at those $5.99 oh look at those and sometimes they have them like 40% off or they have them on clearance I love a wooden earring really super cute and if you could catch it on clearance even better but yeah don't sleep on their jewelry. Their jewelry is super cute. Look at those starfish earrings. So cute. Okay. We are back from our errands. And we got almost everything we went to get. The only thing we didn't get was the pretzels. So when I go pick up my son from school, it's a Publix right next to his school. So I just run in there and get the pretzel rods before I pick him up. Then we'll have that but we got everything else we got the letter d for the monogram oh i finished my coffee and i did not stop and spend any money today i deserve a round of applause <laughs> so yeah this is why i do it before i leave the house it saves me probably like 20 dollars from stopping and getting snacks and everything else that i don't need so yeah we got our letter d for our monogram box. I did videos on my uh, monogram cupcakes 
a few times, but I might do a video on this. This is the cupcake toppers that I'm making today. The NASCAR, it's a NASCAR theme. So those are the cupcakes that are gonna go in this box. I think I am gonna do a video on it. So be looking for that video next week. And also from Hobby Lobby, we got the number eight to put on top of the unicorn cake. And then we got all these just to put in our stash because these can always be cake toppers that you just, like I said, you just hot glue a skewer on the back, done. So we got those. That's all we got from Hobby Lobby. Oh no, we also got the glue sticks. From Hobby Lobby, I was out of regular glue sticks. If you've been watching my video, you've been seeing me using colored glue sticks. That's because I was out of the plain white glue sticks. So now I'm out of those as well. We got our ribbon. Our $5 ribbon from Michaels. Don't even get me started. And that's it. I just put my planner in there. So I can refer back to that. And when I came home, I had a package from Amazon. So let's open this Amazon package. This is also cake supplies. I know some of my stuff was supposed to be delivered today. And then some, I think tomorrow. So let's see. Let's see, child. Oh, these are cups. These are the plastic cups with the dome lids. I use these um, to put strawberries. I'm having a, um, a sale, a strawberry sale. And so I put them in these dome cups. You can also um, do like parfaits, like cake jar types in these two. But these are the ones with the dome lid. Okay. And it doesn't have a hole for a straw. So it's meant for you know, to be filled up, not to actually stick a straw into. And then I was out of bubble straws. These are what I use for my support, to support my two tier cakes, two, three, whatever. So these, and I have some more stuff coming, so I guess that'll be coming tomorrow. So those are all our supplies that we got today. And so now, I'm gonna take my cakes out the freezer so I can let those just defrost just a little bit. And then while I'm waiting on those to just defrost a little bit, I think I'm gonna make some lunch. Yeah, I'm gonna make some lunch and then we're gonna um, crumb coat those cakes and then we're gonna bake the cookies. Yep, that's what we said we was gonna do, right? That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so for lunch, I'm gonna do a salad. So we had this salad. And one of them is a kale, and one is just like a chopped salad. I like kale salad, but not by itself. I like to mix it with like regular, like romaine or iceberg lettuce, because I just find that eating kale by itself tastes like like raw collard greens or something. Like I like it, but it has to be mixed. So we're gonna do some um, lettuce. I got some bacon bits, some crispy onions, some cheddar, Jack. I have a few more jalapenos that I'm gonna put in there. I got a hard boiled egg that I made last night for dinner. I had one left over. And then I get this pulled rotisserie chicken from Walmart. So that's what I'm gonna do. Make my salad. That's gonna be my lunch.
Okay, so y'all really get to see how unpredictable my day is today because I was getting ready to go to Publix like I told y'all and get the pup the pretzels and then pick up my son. But my friend just called me and asked me, can I notarize a document for her? So I have a little bit of time, so I'm gonna go meet her really quick. Yes. I am also a notary child. Yes, so I got my notary stamp. I grabbed that and I grabbed a black pen so I can go notarize this document real quick before I then go to Publix and pick up my son. Listen, <laughs> I bet y'all like, you a home baker, you a YouTuber, you said you was a substitute teacher, you a notary, yes, yes. I'm also a Amazon seller, I'm also a author. Maybe I should do a video about all my hustles cause I have like six of them. Listen, your girl is about her money. You hear me? Sweet, 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 sweet love. 